Well, it's a beautiful day, January 18th, to go for a hike up, up above Manali. And I guess I would be, I'm not sure, uh, it's a northwest of the Natale Tunnel and or ro Rotate Pass. That going up this valley to the trail, it leads on up to the Freedom. There's Freedom Peak up there and Freedom Base Camp. There, now you should be able to see Freedom Peak. And this is the way that I will continue down. This is the temple in at the top of Old Manali, and it's beautiful. And I have no idea how old it is. I'm going to have to Google it. <coughs> That's Manali over there. There's quite a haze today. And this is the mountains going up towards Tal Tunnel, Rotang Pass. It's hard to tell on that ridge, but you can actually see Freedom Peak, which is a peak I would love to walk up someday. And this is where I stayed for six to, I'm not sure how many weeks. I think it was six weeks I stayed here uh, a couple of years ago. I am not staying here this time because I was worried about the snow and ice on the route coming up. It's rather steep from the village of Vishtu. There's the village there. Um, so instead I'm staying way up on the other side of the valley at the old Manali, Manali house, which so far has been good. Um, we'll see if what the weather does. I hope we do get some snow and ice. I'm walking the walkways of the village of Vishthu. It's above Manali on the other side of the valley. And I have to admit, I love this village. Um, stayed here for or above the village for a number of weeks a couple of years ago and it hasn't changed much which is great because so much is changing around here on the way back I'll take another video coming back through because I will go by the temple here in town the village it's pretty neat here's an old structure and look at the slate tiles or slate on top of the, the roof. That's pretty awesome. I'm on the trail to Jogney Falls on a Saturday in January. It's cool, but it's great hiking weather. And amazing, amazingly, there's very few people. Um, there's a group coming behind me somewhere. I don't know exactly where. And there's more of the incredible peaks in the Manali area. Manali, India, is has been discovered by the domestic population. Indians are definitely coming here now in large numbers. You're seeing some foreigners, but definitely 
has not been discovered by foreigners. Just beautiful, the forest surrounding here. Well, I made it up to Jogni Waterfalls. And it is spectacular. Today I'm hiking up above Old Manali on a trail that takes you into the Manaslu, <laughs> Manaslu, the Manali Wildlife Sanctuary. A beautiful hike. The forest here, the mountains, remind me very, very much of my home in West, the Western United States, Colorado. And it's just a spectacular morning. And it should not be this way. The temperatures they're saying are 10 to 15 degrees above average. And there's no snow. And this is the first time my friends who live here in Manali, they've been guiding here for 40 years, have ever seen a January, middle of January, without snow. They had snow in December early and of course it's all melted. I've seen a few of these birds. I don't know, I think it's coming through. They're pretty incredible to see. They're so colorful. And then on this side, I've not seen any, but it's not uncommon they have the Himalayan black bear. And in these forests too, around, there are leopards, which are not endangered at all. Um, they're actually, some, by some accounts, they say that there's more leopards now than there were um, during and before the colonial times. When, but that was when hunting leopards was quite popular all through the early 19th century too. There's no hunting, hunting of cats, big cats in India at all. And a leopard or a tiger, before they are euthanized for um, attacking and killing humans, they have to be it has to be pretty well documented that that is the animal that did the was involved in the incident <laughs> since I've been in India there's been recorded in the um, Uttarakhand around the Haldwani area Nani Tal uh, I think there's been five leopard incidents that resulted in people being killed. I think five or six. Uh, there were three women that were killed in a 12-day stretch, which I found amazing and, and sad. It's very dry today for Manali. Maybe not for the time of year. And I think I'll turn this around. Anyway, it's pretty dry here now. And consequently, the temperature swings are pretty, pretty high. It was very cold last night. I think it got down to Fahrenheit around 18, 19 degrees. 
but today it's going to warm up probably in the mid 40s if not high 40s which again is way too warm for this time of year This is one of the more prominent temples in the Manali area. I can't pronounce it. Well, I can. Yeah, I'll have to work on it. And it's pretty cool. And there's a million people here. Super busy. Well, you can see there is some snow. I'm coming back into old Manali. And this is the trail, it's concrete here, and people do drive their scooters to the end of the concrete and then they park them there to go down to houses or trails. And so I call this the top of Old Manali, which it is. And then where I live or stay, is at a homestay up above. I actually will be turning off of this trail onto a little dirt path that has some rock stairs in it. You can see them coming up on the other side of that yellow tarp. And it actually works out pretty well. And this is where I go up, and you can see Old Manali. Well, I came a little late, it's still busy. Ankit, Ankit, what is it? 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 What is